Hey everybody, back with another video. Today is week three-ish, give or take. But let's check out the garden, see how it's growing. Peas, got the trellis up for the peas. Summer squash. So three or four different varieties there. Maybe a little more. This is uh, brassicas and uh, stuff. There's some cabbage and there's some uh, broccoli. We lost a few, but that's okay. I'll come back in and plant in between. Lost a few there. Peppers. And we got okra. Okra's doing really good. beans and then we got a uh, cattle panel just uh, got this installed today and I uh, got to run some more stakes in between there I thought I could get away with a stake on either end but gotta have one here in the center too so we'll get that finished up and get these uh, training up there and then what we did is we skipped so cattle panel in this first section one two three and then we skipped this section then that section then we installed another cattle panel we'll skip two more and install a cattle panel down there and we'll do the same thing there in between here and here we'll just run string in between to hold the tomato plants up we got a little bit more cultivating to do here parsnips there rows of peppers and stuff there but they haven't popped up yet some grass that we got to cultivate get that all taken care of tilled in here's a here's a whole bed of uh, beets there's two different type of beets and something else I planted in there can't quite remember this is a polyculture bed probably said all this in the last video but I'm gonna say it again uh, another polyculture bed this one's doing really good We've got uh, radishes, spinach, lettuce, sunflower, corn, beans. So that one's doing really good. walk around the other side got some melons here and some more melons these are pumpkins I believe here in the edge of this okay so these are all the I'm gonna call these Egyptian walking onions now I've heard them called that before but basically these grow bulbs on top see it's doing it again they'll fall over and they'll plant themselves and they'll grow again I'm going to take a lot of them bulbs and I'm going to plant them around some beds. And then here we have horseradish going, growing here. A whole bunch of horseradish root. And I got to clean all this stuff out of here. Come on, here's some gloves because that is sharp. Ow. There's a little radish. Here's a pretty cool thing. i to get in here and play around with this, but uh, this right here is tobacco. All these little bitty leaves. Little tobacco plants. So I'm going to wait until they get bigger so I can start plucking the smaller ones out of there. Some more melons or pumpkins. See, we got all this cultivated. We just got to, this, this row didn't get it, so 
a little bit here a little bit there Got purple potted pole beans and scarlet runner beans there. Just got a bunch of mounds of squash in. I just went in between where there wasn't any corn growing. I made up a mound and planted uh, winter squash within the corn. This area here, this was all volunteer collards. So I'm going to square this bed up here. I tilled along there. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to square it off right there and then I'll clean it all up. And then this here is a bunch of melons. Looking forward to seeing this one. This is called Moon and Stars. There's the moon, and there's all the little stars. The melon should reflect that same pattern on the melon itself. Sunflower. All right, so this was the very first section of corn we planted. However, it did not take. So we came back and planted a second uh, batch of corn. But instead of doing every row, I did this row, skipped this one, did this one, skipped, did this one. Skip that row and did that one. <clears throat> and that corn is coming up. You can see it there in that row. So we got to come in and cultivate this. Oh, right here we got more summer squash. Excuse me, winter winter squash, butternut, uh, egg corn, um, another kind that I can't remember, and then um, spaghetti. Here's a good dis di display of that moon and stars leaf. Romaine lettuce. This is, I believe, yellow squash. Bok choy, or, yeah, bok choy here. Volunteer potato plant. Not much is happening in these uh, three rows right here. So I'm going to replant those. So we'll skip over that. But then we got beans here in this row. And if you get lined right up with the row, you can see the beans are doing pretty good. And we still got to come back and cultivate all this, which we'll probably do tomorrow. These are the first set of beans I planted. And I think they're starting to set flowers already. But I planted them a little too early. There we go. Starting to get some flowers. And then we got some uh, turnips. Whole lot of those. Some more collards. Here's some carrots right here. If you look down the row, you can see the carrots, I think. Two rows of carrots collards and then this row is cabbage and this row which everything pretty much died out it looks like uh, was broccoli if you were there so I'm replant there as well and over here we have volunteer potato plants here, 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 here. The weird thing is, is I did not plant these last year. This was all grass. I mowed this area. Um, and uh, no, I didn't mow this. That's why the grass is there. I didn't get the chance to mow this. But anyway, two years ago is when I had potatoes planted here. And you can see there's three rows. There's one there. And then there's one, there's a row there. And then there's a row there kind of weird that a potato plant could sit two years in the ground and then and then grow 
there's the chia and all of this little stuff here is, is the flax coming up and then let's walk up here next to the wood chip pile Planted some beans up here. I don't expect them to do anything, but if they do, great. There's a few melons planted right there. Beans all along that in the weeds there in rows. And then you can see some beans down there. I'm going to get up on top of here and take a picture. Anyway, that was a uh, quick run around of the, of the garden. Oh, you know what? One other spot i got to show you. This is that section where I drug up all of this roots from the garden. But well, we got... Uh, um, there's a volunteer kale right there. Where is our, there's our, uh, cucumbers. Quite a few cucumber plants going in there. Alright, so that was the garden week three, and we'll come back in a few weeks or so and take another shot at it when it uh, grows up a little bit more. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.